Hi everyone, it's Gail and we are here with Mixed Media Monday. We're going to get ourselves all painty. I mean, I have everything covered in this craft room with, with paper so that we can have a big old play with paint. So um, let's go ahead and say hi and hugs to Jeannie, Connie, Fern, and Millie. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, I better write down my time too, Hat and I. Okay. Okay, we're set. Oh my gosh, guys, I don't know how this is gonna go. We're gonna see. We're just gonna, we're gonna make a mess and I don't know, tomorrow we might be still making a mess. We don't know. So I have all kinds of paper here, all kinds of paper. And I have paints that are nearly gone, or um, I have a couple that aren't, but because I didn't have those colors, but a lot of this paper is gone, almost gone. So um, we are going to get painty, and some. Okay, we'll get to we'll get to that. Let's just let's just start easy here. <laughs> start easy. And we'll talk about what we're going to do with the paper and stuff like that later. So I really loved how my cover came out for my accordion. Um, my accordion and uh, journal. Excuse me. Thinking. Thinking I want this. Okay. Um, and so I think we're going to just do this on black paper and see what happens. I have no idea. I have no idea what's going to happen. And I thought rather than think about colors, what I'm going to do is just grab them. I've got a little tub here. All of these are kind of almost gone. And these Liquitech Basics are almost gone. So I thought let's just, oh, that was really wet. That's really wet. I just flung that everywhere. Well, off to a great start, I say. <laughs> so we're just gonna we're gonna kind of do what we did on those on those covers and just kind of see what happens on this paper. And then I was thinking we could, um, you know, this could be used this cardstock on a cover if we wanted. Okay, let's see. Just grabbing, just grabbing. I have no idea. Oh. I, I think I might have to shake each one just because they um, are old. And that's what that's what I tried for was old old paints because I thought, you know what? Let's use them. Let's use them before they they die on me. So we're just gonna bray or color on these. I don't know if I need my tray or not. Oh, and I didn't grab my, um, I didn't grab my uh, heat tool, but I was also thinking maybe we just, um, instead of the heat tool, maybe we would just let them dry and then there may be some more work on them in tomorrow's video is what I was thinking. Ugh, see, very, very cool very crummy painting paint crummy goobery all that stuff i don't know a lot of pink but i'm just grabbing i'm grabbing what i'm grabbing I kind of like how this is getting thicker as we go with this. Okay, I think it needs like some yellow or something. I can still hear it's liquidy, so I think it's going to be okay. So... I don't know. We'll see. See see what we get. If it's a hot mess, it's a hot mess, you know? We're not 
going to worry about it. I doubt that any of these papers we play with today are going to be completely done. I don't know. I'll probably add things to each one. Okay, how about some how about some purple? I have one purple here. This is like a real real generic brand. I don't know. I think it came from the craft store uh the craft store that was in our town. They closed, so Yeah, look at that. It's so thick. <laughs> Ew. Paint goober paint goober that's all right we're gonna put it on there anyway oh goodness and as you can see i have my little um calendar on the i think we'll throw that paint goober away uh my little uh desk calendar on the unders so that we can get we can get that painty for another another project. Oh, that reminds me. That was one other thing I wanted to grab. Oh well, if I can remember, I'll grab it for the next one. Okay, I'm gonna leave those to dry, and then they're gonna need more like mark making and stuff on them. Okay. So that's one thing. The one thing that I really wanted to show you is um, Mary Inglebright's Home Companion. I, I got it. I had a subscription. I got it for years. I have a gazillion of them. And I love the pages for paint. They're really, I don't know, they're just a good quality or something. And so they really do work well for paint. So. One of the things that I wanted to do, and we'll just see how it turns out. I can't remember which ones I've shaken and which ones I haven't. I'm just gonna blush a lot of paint on there. It's very similar colors. Let's do this pink. And then let's, oh, I do have some do have a little bit of white too. Okay. Paint goober. <laughs> Alert. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. Let's see what the if this is any good. Oh, I can hear it in there. Yeah, it's crumbing everywhere. That's okay. Uh, let's do some other contrasting color a bit. That's really watery. I don't know why. But, okay. So, we're just going to take this. Get some of those crunchies out of there. And I'm just going to smoosh it. We're going to have some paint smooching. Oh, so cool. That, um, that turquoise is not the best for this because it's really... Okay, so now I'm just going to take another paper. Here's a scrap of paper that I don't care for. And I'm just going to lay it on there. And lay it on there some more. And you might say, what are you going to use this for, Gail? Well, I don't know. Uh, we will see. It doesn't have to have a purpose, A. But B, we'll find something. If nothing else, collage papers, right? Okay, I'm liking the edges of that. Another kind of fun thing about the um, Mary Inglebright pages is the um, whatever there is on the page kind of um, adds another layer, if you will. I was going to try and not get my watch too bad, but I have to have my watch on or we'll go forever. Okay. 
Isn't that fun? Okay, that's going over to dry. Let's see. Put it behind me. Ooh, I'm loving that one. Okay, this one is kind of getting to be a hot mess, isn't it? Let's let's take another page and kind of soak up some of the paint. There we go. That's good. Okay, this one's going to need more. As I said, they all are going to kind of need more. But now we have kind of a little starting point for this one. Let's just pull up some of the paint that I left on my on my paper here. Oh goodness, my I'm, my <laughs> my nose is itchy, so I'm pretty sure it's turquoise by now. Okay, let's just grab some of this. I don't even know. Okay, and let's grab, let's see, where do I have those? I did forget to grab a few things. Let's grab a little bit of a credit card. You can see a little bit of that in it. Um, how about this? Is I'm I'm getting ahead of myself, but it'll be fun. So I wanted to I wanted to show you this. I have this cute old um, suitcase, a vintage suitcase, and it's full of stuff to make marks with. That's one of the things as I'm organizing my craft room I need to do is um, is I need to definitely do some you know rearranging of my mixed media stuff because I haven't used it for so long and it's just here there and everywhere okay I'm just gonna put this on here because then it's another something these kind of um, thread uh, spools are perfect for making marks. And I think we'll, we'll probably do more of this tomorrow on some of the other ones that are dry, but this one just needed something. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. leave that to dry. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, along that line, I was going to say junk mail too. I grabbed this um, out because I thought it would be good to collage on and, you know, have the other pages because it's big. So I am going to do that, but I took two pages out so we could play with them too, because I'm just going to do one at a time, because I wanted to show you this too. Let's see, Let's see how we go with this. Um, okay, so um, I'm going to do some of this. And 
and some of this. This is literally cheap paint from my craft store in my town. <laughs> okay, that comes out quick. All right, and then maybe a little bit of gold. And a little bit maybe of this green. Oh, it's another runny one. Okay. And then maybe a tiny bit of yellow. Oops. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, this is just dollar store plastic wrap. And I'm going to take a good bit of it. enough and I'm going to crumple it up and I'm just going to dab <laughs> that's so fun <laughs> I'm trying to make sure the whole thing is covered. Told you we were going to get painty today. I've got it everywhere. Too much fun. It's like um, big people... Uh, what do you call that? Finger painting. Okay. That is super thick on that. So I'm going to grab the other one and see if I can pick some of it up. And yet still have it all covered. I think there's plenty of paint there. couple of sessions like this we'll use up this old paint won't we okay so now ooh it's stuck there and tore it doesn't matter it's just going to be for collage and stuff anyway ooh that whole corner tore okay well i love it love it Okay, that I'm going to put somewhere here. <laughs> Running out of spaces. I love that, too. So, let's just see if we can cover some of the white spaces a bit. It's starting to dry. So that's why it like tore and stuff. I think I got most of the most of the writing kind of covered up. I really, I really like that edge with the white. So I'm going to call that good on that one. Ooh, those are fun. Those will be fun for a forest journal. Okay, I have some just old book page. Let's see what happens. If I undo this. Can I get it painty side down? And smush it. Ooh. AT sides on both sides. So. Let's grab another one. Just 
just trying to use up all the paint. I really need to pull my <laughs> to pull up the sweatshirt. It's my painty sweatshirt. Quit worrying about it, girl. Okay. Well, that one needs definitely needs more paint, so we'll set it within arm's reach. This one's going to two. But anyway, you can kind of see how fun that is, that little technique. Okay, I do think I need a little baby wipe. Because I can't feel my fingers. Just get the first layer here. Okay, so what else did we want to do? Oh, I know. Um, I am going to put this kind of over here and use it as my wipe off paper, you know, and then I'll get some more on that. Okay. All right. The other thing I'm going to do, because I'm going to do something that I'd like to have it turn out a little less messy is, um, Okay, I'm going to switch out my painty paper here. Just put that up there. And just get a new one. Okay. So, this paper, this is rag paper that I got on Amazon um, shoot it's over across the room but I talked about it er in an earlier video it's something like oh I can't remember I'll try and remember to put it in the description box how about and I just wanted to see how this rag paper took paint so I thought that could be fun we haven't used any of the um, the uh, Liquitex basics so maybe we'll do a bit of those just gonna see if oh yeah this one's good um how about maybe some gray says the woman who said she was just gonna randomly pick colors we'll do one like that too how about I'm not being very random. Um, although this is a random choice, so I think this one was really kind of goopy. Yeah, that one's not coming out. So put it aside for the moment and see if we have, we kind of have a similar color here. I don't know. Ugh. This one's like way out. Okay, let's start with that and see what we get. We can always add more, right? I'm just going to use the, the brayer and see. I just really am curious how it's going to take the paint, you know? feels like it takes a little more brayering to put it on. Ooh, but I like it. Okay, so now I'm just going to roll off on that other piece of paper that we had. Okay, needs, needs something. Needs something, people. Let's, I think... I want it to have a little pink. And what about maybe a little of this super neon greeny? Okay. Let's see what that does. 
could be making mud here. <laughs> of course, the burnt sienna looks a bit like mud to begin with, so maybe it's not me. Maybe it's just that color added in. Now this one I was thinking could be a fun background for tags or journaling cards or something like that too. I'm thinking this one, once it's dry tomorrow, needs a, like a little stencil of some sort. I'm going to add, needs lightning. Oh, that was a good visit. Whoops. Let's, let's pick a bit of that up. <laughs> Oh, Lordy. Oh, gosh, I'm getting out on that. Oh, it's just, it's going downhill. Oh, but it's so fun. Okay, let's get another. The other thing I grabbed was tags. Because it's always good to have a little background on them. Since I completely blotted out all the other colors. <laughs> this. Okay. There's that. Let's see. This is paint goober right here. salvaging it. It's okay. It's all good. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. We're going to put oh, Goober Sister over there. Um, we're going to put that aside to dry and, oh, little brother. And uh, we'll put that over to dry and then See what it's like tomorrow. Cool. Okay. I got, I've got some stuff drying in the back. Let's see how we doing time wise. Oh, we are good. We have more time. So good. Time is on our side, as they say. Okay. What else did I get to play with? I've done that. I've done that. I've done that. The only thing I haven't done is this music page. And it's an old music page, and I thought, you know, maybe it would, um, it would strengthen it a bit to have some paint on it. So, so let's see, what haven't we done? We haven't done this, which is super fun. Pearl paint, have you ever had pearl paint? This again, I don't know if I've seen it recently, but, um. I got at our local craft store here. Okay, and this would be kind of fun. Look at this bottle. It's all sunk in. I don't even know if it's going to work. Oh, it's real runny. Note to self. It's going to come out quick. And how about some light yellow? And just for good measure, let's put a little bit of gold. Gosh, <laughs> all my, between the pink goobers and the pink crusties, it's quite the challenge today. But so fun. Add a little shine. Okay, the pearl's really shiny too. Oh, I don't want to use the brayer. I've been doing that. I want to use this. Okay. 
Okay, I love that. Love that for a, like a piece in a fall journal. Wipe off my card on this piece. Look at how cool this wipe out a wipe off one's starting to get. Okay. So, but I need to pick some of it up. So let's take a Mary Bright page and see if we can pull some up. It's kind of like, in a way, it's like jelly printing without a jelly pl plate, you know? It's just playing with paint, not knowing what you're going to get. Yeah, that's, that's good. And that's lightening that up on the music so you can see the music better. It's too light for this um, magazine page. We're going to have to put more on that, but that's okay. Okay. Ooh. And that's that's real pretty, too. Um, just I just need something darker to cover up the letters. All right. Um, yeah, I'm loving that. That might be my favorite so far. Let's see. I have room over here. All right, well, let's drag these through that, or one of them anyway. Clean up a little of what we've, what we've got going on down here. Okay. Alrighty then, um, this just needs a little bit more paint, but so we'll leave it for now. And then I think I might do the same thing with this one because that one needs a lot more too. All right. Oh my gosh, you guys, let me show you this one. Look at how pretty that's drying. Very fun. Okay. So, that looks like that's the extent of my paper. Well, how much time do we have? We, we have a lot of time. Let's go back to some of our first ones and do some mark making. And we may not do this tomorrow. We may just call this the, paint, the painting video. Okay, so mark making. I have ever so much stuff. Um... Let me show you. Let me show you. Sorry, I was turned away from you. Needlepoint thingies. Awesome for making marks on stuff. So, I think I'll, I think I'll do that. Oh, look, I have this one. I have this one that I've been using, and it's all um, uh, painty already. I want to lighten these up, so um, gold would be really subtle with this. Let's do gold here, and um, what I'm going to do is just put some paint in my tray, and then I'm going to roll it on here, and then we'll press it. I'm going to roll it, she says, and she can't get her brayer to... Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh, I hope that shows on camera. Well, I don't know. I think we'll do this one different. Oh, no, we're, we're going to do them the same because I might use them as, um, I might use them as covers, right? So we might need both. Oh, that's so Okay, that is turning out better than I even anticipated. I love that. Okay. Okay, that's a good stroke of business. Let's do this one. I do love the metallic paint. It just gives a something special 
is what it does. Yeah, and like I say, this is just a needlepoint thing. I Mine I got at Joann's. But I've had them for years and years. I've probably had them since before Amazon. I'm sure Amazon has them too. <laughs> Okay. Okay, that's real cool. That's real cool. I think I want some circles on it too though. And again, you just have to just have to go with it. If you um if you add another layer and you don't like it, add another layer and see if you like that better, you know. Um, cause it's all about just the painting and playing and getting messy. Okay, I'll set that up there. All right, so now let's see. Um, I am going to take a quick second and, um, wipe out my tray. have all my papers on my floor. I have to climb over them. Look at that. That's pretty. We'll keep the mop-up rag handy. I'll just set it over here. Okay, I don't need the plastic wrap anymore because I showed you that. Okay, so... Hmm. To, now we have to just kind of think of what... I would like them to be even lighter. So I have all of my little circle making things. This is from Laundry Detergent. And then I have this little one. I have a cup for big, two different size cups for big ones. Um, I might use the little one too, but I'm kind of feeling that size right now. So let's use what paint I'm I'm looking, you know, like I want my um I kind of want my light buttermilk that I really like, but it wasn't a use it up one. This one is similar. I don't know, it's got a label over its color, so I have no idea. It's kind of a bit of a yellowish. Okay, I'm just gonna kinda thick. Let me see if this is going to work. This is good though. I'm so excited to be using up my paints that are, you know, not long for this world. Yep. How do you know when it's enough? I don't know. You just feel satisfied, I guess. And I feel satisfied with that one. In fact, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna put that over here to dry. And That one's less, and I think I'm happy with it as it is. Maybe a little. OK, 
Okay. That is those two. Love them. Okay. So those three are actually, I feel like, done, done. Okay. Let's see where else we might like some of this. Some circles. Let's grab this one. Still wet, but we could still play with it a bit. This Got all, it, it got ripped when I put the other one on it. I waited too long and it was dry, but that's okay. When we go to use these too, if, it, if there's not enough going on on them, we can always stamp on them. We can... Um, stencil we can just we don't have to be done with this i guess is what i'm saying okay let that continue to dry um, let's, let's do a bit on our tags. want to have a painty tags session of you know completing their decoration type of a, a video here soon okay so let's see what can we do here um i want to get some of this off just gonna make some make some lines on here Okay, uh, how about, let's do a tag. Get that mopped up. Didn't grab my water, which I should have. The other thing I kind of wanted to play with was the, the golden, it's, um, what are they called? They're real watery, I forget what they're called. But, um, they're fun too. Okay, that one's got a first layer now. And where's my wipe? Try not to do the gold part. Okay. So let's see, what else do we need to do? I was thinking, let's see. Maybe like this one. Let's do some. Okay. Let me just wipe this off a little bit. It's crum crummy. Um, this is a hot pad and it's kind of a interesting little um, honeycomb. Honeycomb is what it is. Um, because I loved that gold so much, I'm gonna try gold with this as well. And see, see how we like it. Let's see, I wanna smoosh that around a little bit so it's not so thick. I just love doing this, you guys. It's so much fun. 
Ooh, look at that. Yes. Yes, please. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's real, real nice right there. I love it so much. <laughs> Can't stop. Okay. Oh, that is shiny and oh my. Okay, let's. some on here. We're nearly paint's nearly gone, but we'll add another fun layer to these. Okay. Let's we'll see if I can get the last little bit onto this card. Not much, but, but some. Okay, so another thing. It's like when you go to the dollar store, look for texture, you know, look for things to make marks. It's just, it's just so much, so much fun. And it's simple things really that can, you know, you don't have to have a lot of fancy tools, obviously. <laughs> obviously, laundry soap thing. Okay, uh, what else? Oh, we've got these. We've got these. What could those use? I See, I'm not feeling gold on those, really. Um, I don't know. Yellow? Bright green? You know what? So many times, orange is what you need, which doesn't seem logical with this color, with these colors, but I'm going to try it anyway. So, let's see. What else do we have here? Oh, I have my, I have my drawer of mark making stuff, too, here. I'll show you. It's all in there, too. Um, sequin waste works great. Um, this is fun. It's just a little piece of, I don't know, packing. That was fun. Um, let's see. What else do we have in here? Oh, and of course, bubble wrap. Bubble wrap's always great. So, I think we'll use one of those. Let's use the bubble wrap kind of first. on this one and then we'll try we'll try that um packing on another one I don't know we'll see how this is gonna go okay again I like it spread out a bit which is where the jelly plate does come in great okay Go this way. Okay. Those little wipe off sheets are so fun. Okay, this is a well used bubble wrap, but we'll see how it does. Yeah. I'm liking this pearl as another way to kind of add shine. Now, if your bubbles are a little newer <laughs> than these, 
it will have a different look than these ones are old and kind of crushed in a little bit. I can't believe we got this all into one video. I was thinking, oh my gosh, this is going to be multiple videos. Nope, we got her done. Okay. Okay. I really like that one too. That's really fun. All right. The only one that I don't think we're going to get done is this one. I don't know. Maybe we will. Okay. Um, the orange. Let's just, let's just do it on here. And try and use this up. So often the wipe up papers are some of my favorites. Because they're, you know, they're super random and and they're not thought out. And of course the drop papers too. Okay. Very fun. All right, so. I don't know if I'm still done with that one yet. Let's let's put some on our drop paper and just use up the paint. Okay, I might put why not? Ooh, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna put a lot on here. Got some pink crusties from previous previous mark making. <laughs> okay, and then um, I did want to give this uh, I want to give this little packing piece a try too, just so you can see the marks it makes. Oh, so fun! Painty papers and mark making just doesn't get much better than this. I might go with this one and sorry to be boring but I'm going to go with gold again really usually it's white gold or black is kind of my go-to um finish finishing it off a project ones okay again let's scoop that out a little bit Okay, what I'm going to do is go like this with it. Oh, 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 look how cool that is. I think I'm going to try and kind of, oh, that was a less, so if you press hard, get more of a blob. If you just dot it. Completely awesome. is, if I do say so myself, real pretty. Okay, let's just clean off our, our little piece of packing, which makes real cool marks. <laughs> okay, I think we probably, look how cool this is getting to be. Um, I think we probably better call it a video. I'm going to show you the papers one more time and the tags. And then 
we shall go from there. Oh gosh, I have one more video to do today. It's not going to be pretty. Okay, so let's see. We have these two on the black cardstock, and um, I'm thinking of using those on a cover. We have this gorgeous um, music paper that's very fall looking. I think that will be probably, now it's pretty tough. It'll probably be a page in the journal, a fall journal. And then we have this one that we just did and it is not dry yet. I think, I think I might put some white small circles on this one. If we have time, I'll do that real quick. Okay, and then this one that we just did with the gold. Oh, I love that. Okay, and then we have this one all done. And this one all done. We have the rag paper, which feels super cool. Good. Um, this one's not done, not complete, and I don't think this one is complete either. I don't know. I really, it might be. Can you imagine that for collage? How pretty that would be. Okay, and then let's see our two wipe offs. Two wipe offs there, which I really love too. And then um, our tags, our tags still need more. So I'm gonna keep them with works in progress. Okay, let's super quick like here. We're just gonna do this. Cause, cause I think they need it. I think it needs it. Yep. Yep, I like that with that little pop of white in there. Okay. I could play all day, you know. <laughs> so let's see. So there's that one that has major drying to do. Um, let's just do this. And we're done. And as my granddaughter would say, and you're done. Okay guys, that's it for this day. <laughs> A little play with paint and um, paint and mark making. So thanks so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope you will have yourself a messy play real soon. So thanks everybody. Have a grateful day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.